Hello friends, welcome to our channel Automation Community. Today we will see how to write a program for automanual water pump. But before that, we need to understand what is the user requirements or we can say problem definition. So, when the user selects this switch to manual mode, my pump should operate from this start and stop button. If the user press this start button, my pump should be on irrespective of the water level. Similarly, when user press this stop button, my pump should be off. Now we will understand the auto mode. If the user selects this switch to the auto mode, my pump should be on off based on my water level. If the water level goes below the low level switch, my switch will be activated and my pump will be on and it will remain on until the water level rises to the high level switch and when the high level switch senses the water level, my pump should be off. So now we will understand the hardware connection of our project. First of all, we will understand the input circuit. So source sink of the input I will connect to the ground of SMPS. Now, from here, I will take this 24 volt supply to here. And from here, first of all, we will understand this. I will connect 24 volt supply to one terminal of this switch. And another terminal of this switch, I will connect to my input X0. Similarly, I will take the 24 volt supply and connect it to the common of my float switch. And because it is low level switch, I will connect the NC terminal of this float switch to my X1 terminal. Again, I will take 24 volt supply and connect it to the common of my high level float switch and its NO terminal I will connect with my X2 terminal of digital inputs. And at last, I will connect 24 volt supply to both my start stop button and another terminal of start button I will connect to X3 position and another terminal of stop button I will connect to X4 position. So here as you can see we have total 5 inputs X0, X1, X2, X3 and X4. Here we have completed our input circuit. Now we will understand our output circuit. So what is our main output? Our main output is this pump. But to on off this pump, we require starter. So this is our dual starter with MPCB and contactor. But we can't operate this contactor or, or energize this contactor directly with PLC. So for that, we have to use one relay. So how will, so how we will connect this? First of all, I will connect ground of my SMPS to the common of my digital outputs. And our digital output Y0, I will connect it to one terminal of relay. Another terminal of relay, I will connect to 24 volt supply. Similarly, on the output side of relay, I will give my phase to the common of relay. And NO contact of relay, I will connect it to A1 of contactor. And the A2, of, A2 terminal of contactor, I will connect neutral. So when this Y0 is on, my relay will be on and here my NO terminal will be closed. So power will flow from phase to common to NO to the A1 of contactor and my contactor will be energized and motor will operate. So friends, this was about the hardware connection of our project. So before moving ahead, we need to understand working of float switch. So let us take the normal condition when my water is normal level it is above from low level and below from high level. Now as we consume the water the level will reduce and when the water level becomes lower than the float switch level this switch will be activated and it will give signal to my PLC. So my PLC will start pump. Now as the pump starts, the water will start filling. 
as the water starts filling again this condition will come when water rises above the low level switch and again my low level switch will be not activated and pump will remain on until the water level becomes higher than the high level float switch so in this condition my high level switch will be activated and it will give signal to my plc so my plc will stop our pump so in this way our pump will be on off automatically based on our low level and high level switches you would be thinking here when the switch is in downward direction it is activated and here when the switch is upward direction it is activated so how it's possible so you will understand this point from this slide we have given 24 volt supply to common terminal of both level switches level switch has three terminals one common one no and one nc so for low level switch we will give 24 volt supply to our common nc terminal of the low level switch we will connect to the x1 so when the switch is in downward direction this terminal will be closed and power will flow from here to x1 and it will give signal to our plc that our level is low similarly in high level switch we will give 24 volt supply to common and connect the x2 terminal of plc to the no terminal of high level switch so when the high level switch rises upward direction our this terminal common and no terminal will be closed so the power will flow from here to x2 terminal and it will give signal to plc that our water level is become high so this is the working of level switch we will understand the logic whenever the auto manual selector switch x0 is off or we can say it's zero our manual network should operate in our manual mode if the start button which is x3 is pressed then our pump output should latch and if the stop button is pressed our pump output should unlatch now if our auto manual switch x0 is on or it is one our auto network should operate in the auto network my pump should be on off based on my water level condition if my water level is low which is sensed by low level switch then my pump will be on and if the water level is full or water level is high it will be sensed by high level switch and my pump will be off important thing to see here that in my auto mode my start stop button should not work so friends let's start our programming for that i will close this i will open my isp soft software from here as usual we will click on new button click yes over here we will give name to our project click okay over here now first of all we will write device command by double clicking over here so here what is our x0 it is manual and auto selector so we will write just manual and auto what is our x1 it is our low level switch press enter what is our x2 at x2 we have connected our high level switch so the same we will write over here press enter x3 this is our start button which is used in manual mode press enter and this is our stop button for manual mode so we have written all comments for our inputs now we will go to output 
we have only one output at y0 which is our pump so just press enter we have not used any memory or uh, timer or data register so just close this click on the programs right click and click on new button again we will write program name Just click OK over here. So our workspace is open. Let us maximize it from here. So friends, first of all, let us write a network comment over here. I am writing this network for manual mode. So here also I will write manual mode. Press enter. How I will come to know that it is manual selected or auto. So for that, we have to use this contact, bring your cursor to this red portion and click and name it x0. So, uh, cancel here we want to write x0, x0. Now when the x0 bit is off, power should flow from here to here and our manual mode should work. So for that we have to select NC. So click on space button and select NC. So now here we will write program for manual mode. So what we require, we require one start button, stop button and output over here. So first of all, we will select contact from here and just click here and our start button is created. Name it X3 because we have connected our start button to X3. Press enter. Now I want now what we want, once I press this, my output should be on and when I release this, yet my output should remain on. So for that, so we will let output by giving a parallel path from here. So first of all, select over here, select on contact, bring your cursor to here and when it shows parallel path, click on it. So now name it m0 press enter here we want one i name it m0 because i will use internal relay m0 over here here we want one stop button so again going to contact bring your cursor to here when it shows series click on it and here we will give name x4 because our stop button is connected to x4 but our stop button is in nc connection so again select it press the space button and select nc from here so now our stop button is created now finally here we want output so go on coil bring your cursor to here and click over it select the mouse and give its name m0 press enter our output is pump but I have taken M0 here. Why? That you will understand later. Now we want a new network over here. So just click over this button and our new network is created. Here we will write comment for it. This is for auto mode. Just press enter. So again how we will come to know it is auto mode or off. So for that select the contact name it X0. Just press enter. If this bit is on, x0 bit is on, so this you no know, contact will be on and power will flow from here to here and over this network will operate. So in this network what we want, we want one low level switch to start our process. So I will go to context and make this you no know, contact. I will name it x1 because our low level switch is connected to x1 now as we have created one parallel path over here for latching our output same thing we will do over here so again i will first of all i need to select here and i will select contact from here 
Now when the parallel path will show, I will click on it and search network is created. Again here I will give a name to M1, press enter. Now here we want high level switch to stop our output. So again I will select a contact, bring our cursor to here and when the series switch appears, click on it. Here we will write X2 and press enter. So this is our high level switch. Again, when this bit is on, we want to stop our process. So I will select it as NC. So just select it, press the space button and click on NC over here. Now finally, we want one output. So select coil and bring your cursor to here. Again, select pointer and give it name M1. So this M0 and M1 are the internal relays of PLC. When either of these are on, our output should become on. So again, I will write a network from here. So again, I will insert a network from here. And in the network, I will write press enter. So there are two conditions to make our output on. Either my M0 should on or my M1 should on. So what this means? Simple the or of these two. So select a contact from here. Click on this. And I so this will be my M0. So we will take one M1 in parallel to this M0. So again select contact from here, bring your cursor to here and you will see parallel contact like this. Click on it and here we will write M1, press enter and here we want one output. So select a coil, bring your cursor to here, again select pointer and write here Y0. So if our manual mode is selected. Our M0 bit will be on from this network and it will make our output on from this network. Or if the M1 is operated from this network, so this M1 will operate our output Y0. So here we have completed our letter programming for auto manual pump. In the next video, we will see its HMI designing and simulate this project. Thank you for watching guys, if you want to learn more example like this, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel.